last time I checked, this isn't the gathering of the juggalos. This isn't a festival of a bunch of jackoffs with makeup on their faces running around like a bunch of clowns. Certainly not ingratiating himself to the crowd. I swear to God. I have never seen a bunch of degenerate fans like your juggalos. Quite frankly, you people and you people make me sick. Right now, I would be standing before you and all you people, the PWS heavyweight champion, if I wasn't railroaded and, quite frankly, made to perform when I wasn't ready. He's right. I mean, he's right. I swear to God, tonight is going to be different. Tonight, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to do some push-ups. I'm going to get myself mentally prepared because tonight, Big Van Vader is gonna get super kicked in the face and he's gonna fall one, two, three to the one and only hardcore icon. Let me tell you something, Justin. I suggest you close your mouth unless you want me to take this hatchet, man, put it in my palm and slap you in the forehead with it and leave our stamp on that ball head of yours for the rest of the night. Oh, big words. It goes down like this, brother. We don't have any time for your whining. We don't have any time for any crybabies out here. Cause looking at my Gucci, it's another time right about now. Oh, yeah. What um, time could that be, Sam? And it looks like. Justin. Up. With the power of the Rocky Mountains and Boulder, Colorado, I bring you the Prince of Power. For it's time. I said it's time. Now you tell me, what time is it? Are y'all gonna be better now? I said, tell me, what time is it? Damn right it is. Do you see the look on Justin Credible's face? Well, he's not psychologically prepared to compete in this match now. It wasn't, it wasn't scheduled until much later on tonight. Well, it looks like it's going on right now. Brett Lauderdale getting set to ring the bell. He's just waiting for Justin Credible to step foot in the ring, uh, which he's in no rush to get back in, as you can tell. Why would he be? How come he has to keep up with Vader time? Why couldn't it be Credible time? Well. Vader definitely made an impact at Supercard. You remember that, you worked with me on commentary. He was all over the place. He was definitely enforcing his authority as the guest commissioner during Supercard weekend. Uh, so much in fact that he even had an impact on the Starman Alex Reynolds then Tri-State Championship match where Starman ju Justice was served and he ended up winning the title that night thanks to Vader's authority. There aren't too many people they can go from being commissioner to being a competitor here in Pro Wrestling Syndicate. Let's see if Vader can get it figured out. Well, just incredible. He was just here last month at Rawway Retaliation. Bonesaw, the PWS champion, didn't want to waste any time. He wanted to have his fight right off the bat. The opening match last month was Bonesaw defending the gold against Just Incredible. Speaking of Bonesaw, by the way, huge news coming from the ICP that the Starman Dan Moff match tonight. The winner of that match gets the number 30 spot at our next show where we'll have an on-the-spot championship battle royal match. That's the match, the on-the-spot championship battle royal, the Bonesaw won, giving him the opportunity to win that championship. I'm about to say, everybody knows that Bonesaw capitalized on that on-the-spot title shot opportunity, uh, eventually cashing it in against Alex Reynolds, who was PWS champion for four minutes thanks to that on-the-spot title shot opportunity. So anything's possible. So that's right, either Dan Moff or Starman are gonna be number 30, and either one of those is also gonna be number one. Obviously number 30, you have the best odds of winning that Rumble match. Oh well, yeah. That, that coming up later on, but here we go. These two gentlemen getting ready here, do battle, eyeing each other up here. The mind game's starting already here in this second match of the evening here. It's Wrestle Bowl, color and elbow tie up. And in a test of strength, I don't know if Justin Credible is gonna win. There's a lot 
that he will win at. And you know what? Good for him for being the one guy to come out and remind the insane clown posse that this is not the gathering of the Juggalos. This is not some horror hip hop concert. This is a pro wrestling syndicate show and the people who are here to compete for pro wrestling syndicate are the ones who should be in the ring. Absolutely. PWS friends tonight live in attendance and watching on iPay-Per-View witnessing one heck of a show. What a way to end 2013 in style here. And just incredible, back outside is in no rush to have anything to do as he heads up the aisle way towards the Cindatron staging area. And he should. You know why? Because maybe it's not Vader time. Maybe it's Justin time. You get it? Possibly. Just in time. Well, because if you put it together, it's just in time. You, I, you understand what I'm saying. You know... You're very, very good at play on words, sir. That's Absolutely. Play, yep. yep, see, I picked up on that. But here we go, back in the ring. Just incredible, in the best shape of his life, thanks to that DDP yoga. I mean, he's on like the top level of DDP yoga. I mean, he's actually even able to do headstands, something that I believe you're not quite able to do yet. I can not only do headstands, I can balance myself by my oh, hair. Can you know? <laughs> I don't even need to use hands. Maybe you should try some of that DDP yoga, oh, David absolutely. Adams. You gotta do something to get your life in order. You're a wreck. You're, you're right, I'm sorry. I see your Facebook pictures. Nonstop party with you. It's just incredible as having a far from a party of a time in there. Those clubbing blows from Big Van Vader, the pride of Boulder, Colorado, weighed in this evening 435 pounds. So you know what kind of impact those vicious fists are doing right now. Oh, and wow. look at that, a Vader club. He just knocked him out, what a clothesline. And I don't know what amount of psychological preparation can prepare you for something like that. It was a huge, it's just a body avalanche basically when he hit that man. And he just clubs him with another clothesline. Vader notorious for pulling no punches. You know, he's the guy who removed the ear from Mick Foley's head some 20 years ago. He absolutely did. How could anybody ever forget that? A moment caught in time here in the world of professional wrestling. Now Vader slings him out of the corner. He's going right off, gonna be a Vader splash. Just incredible, just got flattened in the corner. Speaking what? of a moment in time, what do you think is gonna happen when we have a moment in time? The six man tag team lumberjack match, the main event for tonight. Bonesaw, the pro wrestling syndicate champion is actually teaming with reality check. Oh, a super kick from Just Incredible. Big Van Vader is days more to come on that main event in just a minute. Another super kick. Vader's still not down. He won't go down. And a big clothesline from Justin Kudabo. The big man goes down for the cover now. Brett Lauder to the tattoo, but no. In the words of the hot rod Roddy Piper, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, but they don't fall so often. And when they do, you better yell Timber. That's 435 pounds coming down. I'm glad we reinforced that ring tonight. And now it's just incredible on the offensive, just smashing away at the face of Vader. Oh, and another big Vader attack out of the corner. Vader just thrown his entire body into just incredible. And you wonder if either of these two guys are gonna be involved in lumberjacks when we have that big main event six man tag match coming up later tonight. Oh, that should be interesting. Though basically it's in the locker room Whoever the insane clown posse says to go out there at ringside is gonna be there because they're in charge tonight, I hope. Oh, here we go. Oh boy, that's quite a view. He hits him with the Vader bomb. But look at Just Incredible position under the ropes. What ring savvy from the also ring veteran known as Just Incredible. He is a ring veteran and maybe he is the one and only hardcore icon. Because I don't recall anybody having that kind of wherewithal to escape from a Vader bomb like that. And credit to the referee right on top of the situation. As per the rules, your hand goes under that bottom rope. It, the cover is broken automatically. Vader, though, he, he's just biding his time now. And just incredible is feeling it. Oh, you, you think? At the, I mean, the Vader Look bomb. Look at this replay. He hit the Vader bomb, no doubt about it, but just incredible, smart enough. Shades of Supercard on night two when he decimated the student AC Gamble with that. And here's a choke bomb! Oh, forget about it. And his entire body just falls on just incredible. You wonder what's gonna happen. You hope just incredible's okay. Looks to be getting some help.